system code enhanced armament is where we left off last episode with Kirito about to pop off against Integrity Knight number two. That girl is basically the Amy Schumer of Integrity Knights. And let me cook. And what I mean by that is there's a comedian named Amy Schumer who constantly uses her vagina as like a main comedic point, thinking, ha ha ha, I'm funny because I'm a whammon. Same thing with Integrity Knight. She's like, oh, you're looking down on me because I got a pussy. But it's like, nah, bitch. And nobody thought of like that. Only you did. Something happened with Berkeley. You know, Broccoli, number one Integrity Knight, and her. There's like a relationship past that's been shown and something bad happened in the way that she was looking down. He was looking down on her due to some reason. I think that she conflated it with her gender status. I'm not sure. But hey, we're about to just wrap up this fight. And who's going to win? Let's find out in today's reaction. Enhance it! Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened with the sword there? Is Kirito basically Hashirama now? Because like, you know, what is this sword made of? Obviously the tip of the Giga Cedar tree. Is this supposed to be like tree vines? I'm not sure what those purple things are. She says something there. She she whispers something. I'm not really sure. Maybe she's a skibbity. Maybe she, I don't know. <laughs> she literally just got fucking painted onto the Sistine Chapel reference. Not really. But you're right, right? The Giga Cedar, right? The whole lore about it, Light of Solace, right? The sunlight. And her entire attack is basically the Light of Solace. So like, we hard counter. The tree is literally just absorbing the light. It's a very demonic looking tree, but it is called a demon tree. Kirito. Evil powers. Kirito. Kirito. The Osmanthus Knight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kirito. Wait a minute. We just. She's not the Osmanthus Knight, right? She was a different title. Every title of the episode is like a new Integrity Knight's name, and I'm like, oh shit, what's gonna happen next? System code. Generator Luminous Element. Heal. Durability transfer. Oh! Transfer human unit to durability transfer. Self direct. Kirito. Arigato, Yusho. Ore amo daisho. Did he take some there? It looked like he stopped just in time. I'm not sure. Maybe he gave him a little bit. Arigato, Yusho. Ore amo daisho da. Muri suru na yo. Gotte iru hatsu da yo. Goblin <laughs> the goblin fight was harder than this fight against Integrity in the night number two. <laughs> Kirito empathizes with her though. Let's go, Yuji, I love this. They're all just brainwashed. I don't think we can blame the Integrity Knights. They're all just brainwashed and propagandized. Blame Quinella. She's just the root cause of everything here. What happened to the girls, by the way? The, the two church girls, are they frozen right now? Because the whole room is frozen. They said, we, we said just watch this shit, right? And we fought and like we forgot about them and I don't know. But they're both absolute. I love it every time. Where they're just humans every time. We're fully aware that they're just fucking simulated AIs. But here's the thing, right? Again, if Kiku, if Kikuka was in here as Kirito interacting with all these different characters and actually was able to, you know, bond and empathize 
I don't think he will simply see them as just a bunch of zeros and ones, but rather potentially beings that are the same weight of magnitude as real humans, but obviously he can't empathize, so he sees them as just like... What's the word? Disposable trash. そんな絶対の善悪なんてものを人間には決められないんだよ、きっと。お前はそいつでこの子供たちの毒を抜いてくれ。飲ませる前に最高司祭アドミニストレーターに対しても君はそう思えるのかい。いや、キリトは Right? And Yujiro is low-key the one that's just like, now nah, fuck them all! But Kirito's going the high road. <laughs> the entire time that we just wasted monologuing, she was dying out bleeding the entire time. And we said that we gotta go save her. And they just talked, and she's just bleeding out the entire fucking time. <laughs> System call! Gonna be enough? Kirito. No durability transfer! Just more luminous elements? Yeah. Like the you can just tell from like Kirito's like words how much the author is just going to show like yes, these are humans, right? These are humans that have their own families, ambitions, dreams, hopes, right? Everything Kirito says right now is just like reinforcing, again, the ideology of like, are these just AIs that don't matter or are they real beings? Kaiba? Yui? What? No, yeah, well, don't waste one. One is for Addis, the other is for Quinella, and then Cardinal's magic is supposed to be affected, but, well, come on. Are you sure? Are you sure? We might regret this. But we, this could also be a good thing, right? This sucks because it's supposed, now we only have one to use on Quinella or Addis, right? But maybe Fanatio can clutch and help us out in greater ways. I was low-key hoping for Cardinal to say, you fucking idiot. Did you actually just waste one of that? I'm not even going to bother healing her back because of how stupid this decision was. Alright, now we potentially have two allies. We have Fanatio, who's gonna come back later, maybe, as well as Dusselvolt or something, right? And he what's he doing? Is he still sitting in the stairway just thinking about like his options? Because like those two probably should show up when we need help later. Awakens. Unawakens. Um, what was the exact mechanic of Quinella awakening? I might have forgotten or didn't read properly before. When is she awakening? Why is she awakening? How is she awakening? What is she trying to do right now? She just has absolute power over everything. The awakening part, I'm not really familiar with. Resting? Sleeping? I swear to god, if it's just sleeping... Because <laughs> I'm thinking of like, oh, she's about to just go to phase 2. She's about to execute some sort of plan. And like, become like a greater being, but like... <laughs> is she just sleeping? <laughs> is she just fucking sleeping, bro? Oh, <laughs> いや。
1日のほとんどを寝て過ごしてるらしいんだけど。Are, are they just literally on low power battery mode? Is she on power saving mode in order to live as long as possible?、Uh, the durability shit. How does she regain the youth? Well, she, she used the read li inspect list and re read list and got everything. And, and then what was it? There was also the memory store is being too full. And then she was trying to get other souls and overriding that shit, right? Do you think that. The concept of external hard drives are gonna be introduced. Like, do you think Kikoka will be like, I'll give you some extra memory if you strike a deal with me? Like, this is his like trump card. Quinella and Ki like Kikoka right now, they must be c o m f o r t a b l They have to be talking or some shit, right? And he's like, listen, I got one terabyte of hard drive right here that you can offload a lot of memories into. You take this deal or not. Column of light. o s m a n t h a s night. Oh shit! Don't trust her. Don't trust her. Also, I just want you to know we never saw those girls again. The two church girls that Kirito said you should go take care of, I don't think we even saw that, right? <laughs> They're just gone. We're never gonna see them again. Who are you? Are you literally. Is your entire existence just being elevator? Like, her entire function in this world is just go up and down with elevator? Wow. Yeah, don't want to introduce me to the concept of elevators. Neutral NPC? <laughs> Not hostile? <laughs> Because Kirito read ahead of those two church girls when I thought that he was being stupid, I'm totally willing to believe Kirito right now. Like, he's already shown his supreme intellect before, so I'll agree. Let's, let's go. That's why The highest possible mode elevator. Discharge. Burst element. So she uses like wind magic to operate this. Got it. Kimi wa itz kara kono shigoto o s h t e r u no? Kono. You? Your name is Saru. Doesn't that mean monkey in Japanese? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, no jokes aside. Saru means monkey in Japanese, right? It does. It, that's very poetic. Listen, monkey. I know it's your first time in stream, so I'm gonna let you go right now. But the next time any retard interrupts the fucking reaction by talking about something irrelevant, I will ban your ass. So just shut the fuck up and just enjoy. Alright? Alright? <laughs> Would you want to be Yu Gi Oh? That has to cut down a tree for the rest of your life? Or do you want to be Elevator Girl? That has to operate Elevator for the rest of our life? <laughs> we need to free these girls. Dude, we need to free these, these AIs of their callings, man. What about dinner? What, what about dinner? You just get a lunch break, then you sleep? That's it? Erobito. Erobito. That's so sad. Operator. Her brain would blow up. She wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I have no knowledge of the world other than this shaft. I'll show you my shaft, alright? This, this girl fucking. I, Someone free her. This is so sad. This, this entire girl character just got introduced to like remind us like the horrors of these AIs being stuck to their callings forever, man. Like, that, that's crazy. That, that is, and like, they have no free will. They don't even think. They, they think like, yep, this is just my calling, man. I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. Nothing else matters. <laughs> like, there is not a single speck of. 
critical thinking or like freedom of thought. They're all just programmed to do this one specific function and they don't question their lives. And Kikoka looking at these AIs probably like, probably thinks that you deserve this shit. They're so stupid that you can't even escape your little box that you're stuck in, right? We want to find characters, these AIs that are able to break, you know, from the status quo or are able to like actually think and challenge these rules that are in place instead of just obeying. Just ask yourself, who made these rules? Why do we need to obey these rules? Fly, huh? She's a bird stuck in a cage. Or should I say stuck in an elevator? Bye, operator. Bye! Yeah, nothing could be more endless than your previous calling, Yu-Gi-Oh. Nah, there's, there's Operator-kun. Man, I feel bad for this girl. Her entire character just exists just to remind us of the horrors of these callings. I don't know, man. And even her dream is to fly free, just like more symbolism of escaping this like birdcage she's in. <laughs> Operator Kun can't retire. Well, like, you gotta swing an axe. Operator Kun just fucking system call generate, you know, aerial element burst form and go up and down the elevators. But like, yeah, this, this does suck. No dinner, just lunch break and she can sleep. No dinner, no breakfast, no bathroom breaks. Just lunch break and then sleep. Okay。Yeah, and you already fucking wasted that one thing that was gonna be useful in stopping her, bro. You wasted on Fanatio. Good job. You are now gonna get timed out for seven days. That's me. One day. You should know better. How the fuck are you answering another motherfucker? Like, how many times do I need to remind you, monkeys, how this shit works? It's perfectly fine if a new person shows up without understanding the rules and asks for something, you know, if it's happening or not. I don't remind you. I'll fucking be careful. But if you can watch this video after, I have no empathy towards it. You don't even try to fucking follow the rules. It's not over, Hyuji. The real issue is the next one. And then, if you want to be able to do it with Cardinal, what do you say? What do you say? Okay. Is it that easy? Well, there's also the threat of the dark continent and stuff. I'm not really sure. What was that interaction from between Kirito and Yujiro? He's hiding something from Yuji because of some things that obviously the conversation with Cardinal, Yuji was not allowed to hear most of it because all of it because like, you know, we don't want to break his fucking mind. But like, even if we defeat Administrator, it's not Cardinal can handle the rest. Kirito says, mm, uh, well, I'll explain after we get Alice back. I'm not sure what's really going on here. <coughs> oh, right. It's Cardinal's final endgame plan, you're right. Basically, we're trying to show Cardinal that there's a different way to go around things. But Cardinal is just trying to just delete everything, right? Yeah, and, and like, we don't want to let Yuji know, because like, yeah, if we defeat an administrator son, it's like, you know, it's, it's just not that simple. Right, right, right. Damn. This must be the top, right? Look at that water animation. Arisu! Oh! Is she the Osmantum Knight? Today's episode was called Osmantum Knight. I actually don't know what Alice's you know, title is. Is it? Oh shit, it's her. Wait, why doesn't this play? Hold up, 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 I... Where is this? Wait, 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 wait. Basically, there's a meme that if you see Alice, this specific theme will play. Basically, 
It's like, uh-oh, we're seeing Alice, we're seeing Alice, right? We're seeing Alice, and then... Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Also, I'm still waiting for the soundtrack to play. It hasn't happened yet. I just see a comment on this Sword Art Online soundtrack's comment. It's like, Alice literally does anything. Play the fucking soundtrack. All right, all right, let's go back. Arisa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? I mean, you're kind of in the shade. Uh, you should probably get out a little bit more if you want the nice tan, but Alice is just, in, just sunbathing beneath the tree, alright. Okay. That's right, the dagger! Don't fuck it up! Just one stab! I don't think Kirito said the exact line in Season 1. No, he said the sky looks nice. He's like, oh, th this is the perfect way to just nap in the sky. I don't think that's an identical one for one. Did Kirito do the hand to Asuna? If he did, I'll take it back. If Kirito actually did the hand to Asuna and said, you know what? Nope. It's nice weather to enjoy the napping. What is she doing? Wait, what's the restrictions here? The perfect weapon controller from Yujiro can be used two more times without restoring its life using the scabbard. Restore the life? Using the scabbard? Because, like, the more ice powers you use, the less of the ice sword you have. So, like, if the ice sword is there, every time you use the AoE ice, like, the sword kind of goes down. Is it durability? It takes durability to use it? Hmm, interesting. But there's basically... It's the PP in Pokemon, right? It's, it's a cooldown. And, like, you need to, we need to just, like, wait and heal it up or restore the durability of whatever stamina it is. Night Commander. Night Commander. Commander of the Knights. Is that going to be Berkeley? Probably should be, right? Night Commander sounds like the strongest integrity knight. Oh god, she got up. That's crazy. Eldre just got washed. With us in chains. I know it was a 2v1. And I know that it wasn't in a really fair fight. Well, it was never a fair fight for us either. I mean, we confronted him of his past memories. But it's kind of crazy that we did overcome him. With the fucking chains, bro. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. That's funny, because it's her. She is literally the person that Yuji thinks about to invoke that memory, you know? Save your ass, dumbass! The sword is a sword? Wait, the tree? Wait, she has a tree sword too? It looks like Excalibur, man. It looks like fucking Excalibur. Sunbathing was for the tree? Wait! Her ch oh my! It w that's why she was in the shade. She was su she the sword. The tree was the one. Su that makes a lot more sense than why she was in the shade. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, she looks like Saber from F Frank Fake, the Face series, huh? It, it looks like Excalibur to me. What kind of tree is this? It looks like a regular tree, right? This is not a Giga Cedar tree, but like I, I don't know. It looks like a regular tree, but it's a tree versus tree we got going on, and she's already released her Shikai. System core. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, I need to change the headset. Like, like the bass boost on the headphones is actually ear rape. I can't, I can't do this. It, oh, the soundtrack is finally playing though. 
The soundtrack that I talked about that, you know, when Alice does something is finally fucking playing, man. I am so sorry for the ears, but honestly, blame A1 Pictures for this, okay? It's them, bro, not me. Ooh! Just some Byakuya shit! Her blade doesn't have a form right now because it is this golden... What is this? Leaves? Is this supposed to be like the, pe is, is this supposed to be like the petals? Of like the tree or some shit? You know, like Senbo and Zakura fucking, you know, Kageyoshi, right? That's like, flower that's like Sakura petals or some shit. This is like what? Golden tree leaves? Yeah, remember, no memory release yet. What was that? Hmm, I don't know. It's, it's definitely more than just the tree leaf. I, I don't really know what this is, though. Looks like flower petals. That's awesome, man. That's... Wait, you cheeky motherfucker! Because remember, you don't have to like uh, use this thing call and then um, call armament, uh, ar ar enhanced armament immediately. You can basically, like we could have said system call at the elevator, I think. I'm not sure how long it lasts for, but you can just basically start a bit of the incantation and just fuck around for a bit <laughs> and then do the real thing. So, okay, Yujiyo, say system call. System call. <laughs> Oh, the bow. Saber, bro! Saber,ブロ。教えてほしい。アリストの人気。戦国を他の上にあった木が、古いしえのような少女に。いや、the we're buying time for Yu-Gi-Oh right now. And she's like, you know what? Fine. Lord time of my sword. Here we go. The original village is right. Got it. Like the origin tree. Is it really? This is genuinely the oldest existence in all creation? Okay, alright. I love Kirito basically just like repeating everything Alice just said to buy even more time. It's just the art of stalling right now, man. Another challenge request. Bro is stalling and farming so hard. Bro is literally me just farming pre re zero content before it even fucking comes out right now, bro. Holy shit. A second challenge? <laughs> Yushio, are you ready? Okay, we're in the shadows now. I wonder, like, if she's weaker in the shadow compared to direct sunlight. Like, why did the environment suddenly shift here? And, like, it's also funny that she seems to represent, like, light, good, you know? It's like a golden holy sword, and we're like a demon, right? <laughs> we got the demon giga cedar tip right now. And again, and even if it's light, the, the cedar tree absorbs everything, but it's a little bit different. Banatio actually just use soulless powers while, you know, her... It's it's Osmanthius leaves. Yujiro's ready, coming in. <laughs> Gave up the sword. Oh. Damn! 
He needs to really sacrifice himself there, huh? Poke. How do we poke her though? She's in the ice. Oh, 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 oh. She's too good. Did you hide the sword? Here we go! You want cliffhanger incoming? Cliffhanger incoming! The wall! The wall! The wall! What the fuck happened there? The wall was break. Who cut that? It wasn't Alice, right? It was just the impact between the source trucks, I think, that created this unfortunate escape, right? They both fall out? Really? Fall damage exists in this game, right? What the fuck is this, bro? Is that... Just the properties of the Central Cathedral Tower recovering itself. This isn't like time rewinding, right? I think it's auto repair system, right? <laughs> well, shit. Kirito! And that's today's episode of SAO and what happened at the end, bro. Like, the wall exploded from the impact of, you know, the class between Alice and Kirito. And they both dropped out of the tower, but they're not going to die. Wonder where they're going to land. Or maybe someone's going to catch them. That's a very interesting outcome. Alice's power is insane, man. Alice's power, literally Biaquia. Maybe not the same, but similar in the sense that their blade turns into, you know, uh, flower leaves. And it just fucks people up. And remember, this is just the Shikai. This is just enhanced armament. We haven't even used their memory recollection skills yet. I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to see that. The whole origin of, you know, it's like the oldest bee in existence. This tree is so powerful. But the Giga Cedar tree, I feel like, is also really powerful. And we should be able to overcome this. If we can even survive the fucking fall damage. Aside from that, Fanatio outcome here. It ended a little bit too abrupt. I wish that they just, I don't know. I feel like sometimes the hype is lost during a fight when you end off in a cliffhanger and have the outcome of the fight introduced in the first 30 seconds of the episode when we haven't even been primed to it, right? We just start the episode and it's just like, what's going on? It's like, oh, hype shit, but you can't just stop there. You got to start with the foreplay. This shit should have been handled last episode so that the outcome was done and then we can figure out what to do. But still, regardless, fantastic attack. Kirito basically has... You know, the, the, what's it called? The traits of the Giga Cedar Tree. And what does it do? It absorbs the Solus Light. That's what it's always done. So, Fanatia, we just hard counter her light attack. And yes, we wasted a sword. We wasted one of the mini swords right now that Cardinal gave us. But maybe this will come clutch later as Dusselvolt and Fanatia both come to our aid. And I don't know, maybe everything's gonna be fine. Also, maybe there's a Dragon Rider that's gonna save Kirito and Alice. I don't know, Dusselvolt's got his red dragon and they're gonna save them and we're gonna be back. I'm not really sure. Only one way to find out and that's to watch the next episode. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.